Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today we're going to review another NET hybrid by Lata Bakaria's new line called the Flapper that I received from Mark at Nature Vape, who is the sole distributor of all Lata Bakaria NETs in the UK. So, um, I'm not going to go through too much about the mixing and what it's all about. You can read all about what the flapper line is below. And also you'll see the mixing chart below um, that I went through fairly detailed in my first review on the tropical, um, that I think it was last video. Um, in very quick passing. Um, so. Uh, the flapper line comes in 20 mil concentrates that I took off the label and put it on the bottle that I received from Market Nature Vape. So this is basically like a long film. What you do is you take a, the 20 mil concentrate, put it in a bottle, and then you add um, nick shots and booster shots according to your nicotine preference. If you like it zero, so it's only boosters. This is 70-30, zero nicotine. If you like it three, so then you take three boosters, one nick shot. If you like it six, two of each. If you like it nine, three nick shots, one booster. And if you like it 12, only four nick shots, no boosters. And then you put it in all with the concentrate in the bigger bottle, give it a good mix. You don't really need steeping, but if you leave it for two days, three days, um, some say it might improve. Okay, I didn't really notice much of a difference because this is the extra dry for pod line that it doesn't really need steeping. And also it's very friendly to your coils, stock oil, pod kits, RTAs you wouldn't have to re-wick so often. Uh, yeah, and the flavors, judging by the first, is amazing. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna review the mango. And here is the label. Very nice labeling by La Tabacaria. And of course, here you got all the warnings in English that is really peeled over, stuck over Italian. Now, I, I want to say, I, since I reviewed the Tropical, I, I was waiting for nearly a week to do this review on the mango. Now, I've been smelling this all the time, and it daunted on me a interesting fact about this new flapper line. You see, when I reviewed the Tropical, that is the Caribbean, I once reviewed Aza Delixir's Caribbean. Um, and I, I didn't mention it when I was reviewing the, the Tropical, but one of the comments asked, one of the guys in the comments asked me, is it like the Azadelic says? In actual fact, it is the complete reverse. So then it daunted on me um, by smelling all the flavors that I received from Mark. Um, that La Tabacaria went completely different avenue here. See, La Tabacaria has always been full-bodied boulder, for instance, more than Juice Cabin or Drake's or um, Black Note. Um, certainly in most of the blends. But La Tabacaria now went to thinking of a, a different type of vapor that is most probably most that they're really not very much into tobacco. But they do like touches of tobacco. But what the, the, uh, you know, the main flavor profile is fruit or other types of add-ons. But they don't want to give up on tobacco. So what La Tabacaria has done has created a NET hybrid that is uh, suited to most palates. Very laid back tobacco flavors, very mild and a bit sweet fruit on the front, some layered like the tropical. We'll see what the mango is like. It's more of a straightforward uh, mango and tobacco. 
But that's what I think. So what, what I'm going to do today is, I'll tell you what, because I never vaped before mango any tea except for one, and this is the one that I actually reviewed as well. This is Drake's, uh, what was it called again? Mag Magnus Mango. And this is with a Oriental, Basma Oriental with um, mango. So I want to compare it to the Drake's um, and see if I'm right what I'm saying because the Drake's is fairly bold and I, when I uh, reviewed this one um, I was thinking to myself well Drake's um, tobacco fusion for instance on the cherry and on the coffee and on the mango is quite robust the apple and the, the rum and the maple those are m much milder like the black note style or the white note so let's give that a go and, and let's see if I'm right. So uh, I've got my Brunhilde freshly wicked and I'm going to use that on the mango by La Tabacaria. And I've got here a old Mouse to Long RDA, the Emmet by Geek Vape. I used to review once liquids on this one and I found it somewhere in the drawer and I said, you know what, that's a good idea. I should use it. Uh, for this review yeah okay so let's do that so without further ado uh, oh flavor profile of course so uh, flavor profile by um, on, the, on this one the mango delicious and fragrant a symbol of eternal love the mango has always been the king of of the fruits of India the tobacco uh, and envelops the sweetness and woodiness of the fruit yielding to the taste uh, yielding to the taste the hints of ripe pulp so it is fairly straightforward um, tobacco mango and and as we know when when um, la tabacaria say fine tobacco they, you know you're gonna get fine tobacco so let's give this a moistening be very interesting to see if I'm right and I'll talk it we'll talk it through in a minute when I actually vape this I was waiting a long time to vape this and uh, I like to vape it first time when I uh, when I review so I get the first impression you get the first impression rather okay so that is done now let me do the drakes so Let's do a smell test first, quickly. See, that's what I've been, I've been smelling this, these two for <laughs> quite a while. It's bolder, stronger. This is sweeter, milder. And a different smell of mango, more like a um, juice mango rather than real mango. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so uh, it's more or less the same coil. It's all one ohm coils by uh, actually by Nature Vape as well. Um, the coil Clapton. The aliens I only use on my uh, straight Virginias or, you know, those I vape all day. It'll last me for a while. Oh, there's trouble closing. Oh, here we go. Right, so let me first try the Drake's to get my mind around the mango flavors that I reviewed already. Yeah, it's very good. But now, let's try the one I was waiting for ages. Lata Bacaria. Flapper line, or is it called in Italian? Uh, Mango della Indie. Right, let's give it a go. Wow. I'm right what I was thinking, but this is delicious. Wow. What you taste here 
is the tobacco for way back. What comes forward is a delicious, sweet mango. But this is different mango than drinks. You see, what I, what I was thinking, I'm right. Lata Bakaria wanted to create a mellow, sweet, soft uh, vape, a tobacco vape. So what they've done is, for instance, Drake's has chosen Basma, which is a spicy tobacco, Basma Oriental. It is very nice, but it's a spicy. So what happens is the spice with um, a stronger taste of mango, more like a fleshy mango. I showed it on the, the Drake's review, the honey mango. Um, I put a photo maybe in the edit. Um, it's more of a sweet, um, nearly exotic mango. What Lata Bakari have done is they've taken um, a mango, but sort of, um, it's like juice with pulp. So I, my wife buys, I'll show you now on the screen, um, a very nice mango juice that is 100% authentic and it's got 25% pulp in it. And uh, many times she even does ice lollies from it. Um, it's delicious, but it's a different, it's more of a um, delicate taste of mango. And it's in a way much easier on the palate. So what they've done, they've taken that style and added to it a very mild tobacco, like a Virginia. So what you get is a very unintrusive, very unoffensive um, liquid that it could be suited to uh, even non-tobacco vapors. And it can be suited for all day vape, it can be suited for pods, it can be suited for new smokers, uh, new vapors, I mean. Uh, it's it's a different line to the more bolder, uh, in-your-face, um, hardcore tobacco liquids that La Tabacaria are excellent for. That's that's what I think is going on here. Yeah. I wonder if Federico from La Tabacaria can verify what I just said because that is um, a very clever move. You know, there's a lot of vapors out there who want something that they can vape a whole day without, without it being too bold or too in your face, uh, either on the tobacco or on the fruit. And I must say, it's, it, they've done it spot on. I know I reviewed already the tropical. I've got the Azad Elixirs, this one here, in my uh, in the classic, yeah, Steam Crave classic. Shame I haven't got the tropical here. It's in the car, but just look at the difference in the colors. It's the same color as this. <laughs> just look at the difference. Now when I vape it. It is bold tobacco, bold tobacco. It's not Latakia, but it's a bold tobacco. And drier, less sweet. It is more like 80% tobacco, 85, and 15% the coconut and the, and the pineapple. The tropical by La Tabacaria is the reverse. It's nearly 75%, 80% um, the fruit and 20% the tobacco. So it's more like black note, white line, uh, more like some of tobacco fusion by Drake's, uh, and juice cabin as well. Some of, even juice cabin is a bit bolder. So yeah, they went on a different path here. And I must tell them, they're really nice. The mango is so delicate, it's like a juice mango. 
but the authentic, authentic, authentic is, uh, forget the word, it's very authentic. Authenticity, that's the, <laughs> you know, sometimes. The tobacco is mild. I'm, I'm really sure it's a Virginia. I, I, I can't be for sure, but must be. Must be. Or maybe something else, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll know one day when, um, yeah, someone leaves in the comments from, from La Tabacaria. Maybe they won't tell us the secrets, but yeah, it is a very old day, very mild, very mellow, and sweet. Not overly sweet, but sweet. And a lot of people like that. The, the as Adelic said, is dry. I couldn't even vape the Turkish, but as Alex said, it's too dry. Too dry. Some love it. Yeah. Oh, really, really nice mango flavor to it. Really nice. Oh, delicious. Oh, yeah. See, I can vape this um, in the evenings now. That's when I vape hybrids <coughs> and enjoy it thoroughly. Enjoy it thoroughly. I enjoy it with the others, but this is so mellow, so mild, and so pleasant to the palate. Yeah. This is even suited, as I said so many times, even to those who don't vape tobacco. And you guys know who I'm talking about. If you, you, if you are like that, you know who I'm talking to, right? I'm telling, I'm telling you guys. Even you never vape tobacco, you would love this one. <coughs> it is so mild on the tobacco, and the fruit is so tasty, and the little bit of tobacco that is there adds to the flavor profile, gives it a lovely twist of flavor, and it en enhances the flavor of the fruit. Yeah, very delicious. Which one is my uh, favorite so far? Well, mango is one of my favorites now. Um, I love also the tropical. Um, yeah, both are my favorites so far because, you know, I like pineapples, I like coconut, um, pina colada style, and I like as well mango. So. Sometimes this, sometimes that. Both are favorites so far. I'm looking forward to try the blueberry and the coffee. The coffee will be next. Oh, yeah. If it's a good coffee. And then we'll also compare it to Drake's. And I'm nearly 100% sure will be the same result. Um, and what else have I got? Um, the pear. pear will be interesting. Okay, so... Um, I want to thank Mark for sending me these liquids um, to vape and to enjoy and to review. I want to thank again La Tabacaria for producing this line. It is a, a huge following for this type of liquid um, for both tobacco and non-tobacco vapors. And I want to thank you for watching. And until the next review, take care, enjoy vape. Bye-bye for now.